equipment supports the Ethernet Ring Protection Switching feature, or ERPS for short. ERPS is used on Ring networks to provide protection for Ethernet services. Over the next few minutes, we will see how ERPS implements protection switching in different scenarios using the RAPS protocol. The networking shows two interconnected rings. Under normal conditions, to prevent service loops on the major ring, the system first blocks the east port of the RPL owner, NE5. Then, it blocks the west port of the RPL neighbor node, NE6. After these ports are blocked, Ethernet services are transmitted over the following path on the major ring. Under normal conditions, to prevent service loops on the subring, the system first blocks the east port of the RPL owner, NE1. Then, it blocks the west port of the RPL neighbor, NE2. After these ports are blocked, Ethernet services are transmitted over the following path on the subring. The ERPS switching on the major ring does not affect the subring. After a fault occurs, NE4 and NE6 both detect a local SF condition and start the hold-off timer. While the hold-off timer is running, the fault does not trigger ERPS switching. After the hold-off timer expires, ERPS switching is triggered. The ports connected to the faulty link are blocked first. Then, the blocked west port of NE6 is unblocked. An FDB flush occurs on the blocked ports. NE4 and NE6 send RAPS SF messages to inform other ring nodes of the fault. The SF messages are sent through the west port of NE6 along the path NE6, NE5, NE3, NE4 and through the east port of NE4 along the path NE4, NE3, NE5, NE6. Upon receipt of the SF messages, all the ports flush their FDBs. The east port of NE5 is unblocked. The SF messages are terminated at the east port of NE4 and west port of NE6 and cease to be transmitted. ERPS switching is now complete. Each ring node learns new MAC addresses and builds a new FDB. The Ethernet services are transmitted along the path highlighted and the RPL owner NE5 reports their ERPS in protection alarm. The link recovery on the major ring does not affect the subring. After the link recovers, NE4 and NE6 both detect a local SF condition and start the guard timer. While the guard timer is running, the received RAPS messages are discarded. After the guard timer expires, NE4 and NE6 receive RAPS messages again. NE4 and NE6 also send RAPS NR messages to inform the other ring nodes of the link recovery. The NR messages are sent through the west port of NE6 along the path NE6, NE5, NE3, NE4 and through the east port of NE4 along the path NE4, NE3, NE5, NE6. Upon receipt of the NR messages, the east port of NE5 starts the WTR timer. While the WTR timer is running, the unblocked port remains unblocked. NE6 compares its node ID with that of NE4, and NE4 compares its node ID with that of NE6. The system unblocks the west port of NE4. The NR messages are terminated at the east port of NE4 and west port of NE6, and cease to be transmitted. After the WTR timer expires, the east port of the RPL owner, NE5, is blocked. NE5 also transmits RAPS, NR and RB messages to other ring nodes. The NR and RB messages are sent through the east port of NE5 along the path NE5, NE6, and through the west port of NE5 along the path NE5, NE3, NE4, NE6. Upon receipt of the NR and RB messages, all the ports flush their FDBs. The west port of NE6 is blocked upon receipt of the NR and RB messages.
Internet services are transmitted along the path highlighted. NE5 clears the ERPS in protection alarm. The network is now working properly. After a fault occurs, NE1 and NE4 both detect a local SF condition and start the hold-off timer. While the hold-off timer is running, the fault does not trigger ERPS switching. After the hold-off timer expires, ERPS switching is triggered. The ports connected to the faulty link are blocked first. An FDB flush occurs on the blocked ports. NE1 and NE4 send RAPS SF messages to inform other ring nodes of the fault. The SF messages are sent through the west port of NE4 along the path NE4, NE6, through the east port of NE4 on the major ring along the paths NE4, NE3, NE5, and NE4, NE3, NE2, NE1 and through the east port of NE1 along the paths NE1, NE2, NE3, NE4, NE6, and NE1, NE2, NE3, NE5. On the subring, upon receipt of the SF messages, all the ports flush their FDBs. On the major ring, the nodes do not handle the SF messages from the subring. At NE1, the blocked east port of any one is unblocked. The west port of any two is unblocked upon receipt of the SF messages. At any three, the messages are divided into two parts and transmitted separately. The west port of any three on the subring flushes its FDB and sends RAPS event messages to the major ring. Let's take a look at the actions performed on the SF messages. The SF messages are terminated at the east port of NE6, west port of NE5, and east port of NE1. Now, let's have a look at the actions performed on the event messages. The event messages are sent on the major ring through the east port of NE3 along the path NE3, NE5, and through the west port of NE3 along the path NE3, NE4, NE6. On the major ring, Upon receipt of the event messages, all the ports flush their FDBs. The event messages are terminated at the west port of NE5 and the east port of NE6. The Ethernet services are transmitted along the path highlighted. The RPL owner, NE1, reports the ERPS in protection alarm. After the link fault recovers, NE1 and NE4 both detect a local SF condition and start the guard timer. While the guard timer is running, the received RAPS messages are discarded. After the guard timer expires, NE1 and NE4 receive RAPS messages again. NE1 and NE4 also send RAPS NR messages to inform other ring nodes of the link recovery. The NR messages are sent through the west port of NE4 along the path NE4, NE6, through the east port of NE4 on the major ring along the paths NE4, NE3, NE5, and NE4, NE3. NE2, NE1, and through the east port of NE1, along the paths NE1, NE2, NE3, NE4, NE6, and NE1, NE2, NE3, NE5. Upon receipt of the NR messages, the east port of NE1 starts the WTR timer. While the WTR timer is running, the unblocked ports remain unblocked. At NE3, the messages are divided into two parts and transmitted separately. NE1 compares its node ID with that of NE4, and NE4 compares its node ID with that of NE1. The system unblocks the west port of NE1. The NR messages are terminated at the east port of NE6, west port of NE5, 
and east port of NE1. After the WTR timer expires, the east port of the RPL owner on the subring, NE1, is blocked. NE1 also transmits RAPS, NR and RB messages to other ring nodes. The NR and RB messages are sent through the west port of NE1 along the path NE1, NE4, and through the east port of NE1 along the paths NE1, NE2, NE3, NE5, and NE1, NE2, NE3, NE4, NE6. On the subring, upon receipt of the NR and RB messages, all the ports flush their FTBs. On the major ring, the ring nodes do not handle the NR and RB messages from the subring. The east port of NE4 on the subring is unblocked upon receipt of the NR and RB messages. The east port of NE4 on the subring and the west port of NE3 on the subring flush their FTBs and send RAPS event messages to the major ring. Let's take a look at the actions performed on the NR and RB messages. The west port of NE2 is blocked upon receipt of the NR and RB messages. messages are terminated at the east port of NE6, west port of NE5, and east port of NE1. Now, let's have a look at the actions performed on the event messages. The event messages are sent through the east port of NE3 along the path NE3, NE5, through the west port of NE3 on the major ring along the path NE3, NE4, NE6, through the west port of NE4 along the path NE4, NE6, and through the east port of NE4 on the major ring along the path NE4, NE3, NE5. Event messages are transmitted only on the major ring. On the major ring, upon receipt of the event messages, all the ports flush their FDBs. The event messages are terminated at the west port of NE5 and east port of NE6. ERPS switching reversion is now complete. Each ring node learns new MAC addresses and builds a new FDB. The Ethernet services are transmitted along the path highlighted. NE1 clears the ERPS in protection alarm. The network is now working properly.